What's up guys, this is OSS from Samsung Galaxy S3 Soft Modder, and today I'm going to be showing you how to root your S3 using a Mac. So, rooting your device, if you don't know, it gives you super user settings so you can change things that regular users can't really do. It allows for more customization and things like that. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to want to set up the developer settings. <clears throat> so we're going to go into settings, we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll see developer options. Now if you don't see this initially, you can go to about device and then you go to build number and you're going to tap that I think ab about 10 times until you see you are now a developer. And then you're going to go back, you're going to click on developer options, you're going to slide this on and then you're going to check USB debugging. Those are the two things you're going to need. And then you're just going to go back and the rest of it's going to be mostly on your computer. So I'm just going to show you guys that real quick. All right. What's up, guys? This is OSS from Galaxy S3 Soft Modder. I'm back on my computer. I have my S3 plugged in with the USB debugging on and the developer options on. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use Moto Chopper, which is installed right now on the desktop and terminal, to finish rooting our device. So we're just going to hop down here, open up terminal, wait for it to load and then we're going to enter those commands. So it's CD desktop, which just means computer desktop, and then it's going to look on your desktop right now. Press enter. Now CD Moto Chopper. So it's again computer desktop Moto Chopper. Enter again. And then CHMOD, that's change modification. And then 755, which is the permissions and then asterisk or star, whichever one you want to call it. You're going to see that. Those are the permissions that have been changed. They're going to enter in sudo, which is super user commands, sh run dot sh. And now, at this point, if you, once you press enter, you're going to need to enter in your computer password because you're changing some settings. So it's going to want to confirm that it's actually you messing with your computer, basically. So we're going to hit enter. I'll see if that password will pop up. I'm going to enter in my password. Hold on, spelling it wrong. Hit enter. And you'll see right there it says Moto Chopper root exploit. So you just press enter one more time, it'll start rooting your phone. Now you can just sit back and relax basically until it finishes whatever it needs to do. It should take only a matter of maybe even a minute or less, depending on your computer speed. There you go. Um, this is the easiest method that I found on rooting your device. Um, there you go. It says exploit complete. Please enter and, and reboot. So once I hit enter, my S3 will actually reboot. And you should hear the chime, maybe, if the volume is loud enough. So right now my S3 is rebooting. Once it's on, I'm going to check to see if I have the super user application on my device. And that's how you know whether or not this was actually a success. There you go. I hope you guys heard that. That's my device starting up again. So that's really how you root your device on a Mac. So make sure to read the rest of the tutorial. All right, thanks, guys. So we're back from the computer we just finished running the terminal options and now we're going to check to see if the super user icon is on the phone because that will signify that you've actually rooted your device successfully and we can see it right here you see it says super user just tap on that and then when you actually install the examples that I showed you like internet speed master that will actually show up here for the, the apps that you have allowed super user connectivity so that's how you root your Samsung Galaxy S3 using a Mac. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And check out the full tutorial on Samsung Galaxy S3 Soft Modder. Thanks, guys.